Hey guys, tonight I want to talk to you a little bit about unfair labor practices, or ULPs. Now what exactly is a ULP? Well, under the National Labor Relations Act, or the NLRA, under Section 8A, there's a list of employer activity that is deemed a violation of an employee's Section 7 rights. Now under Section 8A, an employer may be in violation of their rights if they interfere with employees' rights to engage in concerted activity, interfering with the formation or administration of a union, discriminating against union members, or refusing to bargain with the union's representatives. Now, all those are under 8A, but under Section 7, uh, excuse me, under Section 7A is the employee's rights. Now, the employee has the right to self-organization, to form, join, or assist labor organizations, to bargain collectively through representatives of their own choosing, and to engage in other concerted activities for the purpose of collective bargaining or other mutual aid or construction or protection. Sorry. Now, if you're an employer, there's a few things you can do. You can either do tips or you can do four. Now, tips are those things that would be in a violation of an employee's rights, including threatening, interrogating, promising, or spying. Whereas four would be in conjunction with Section 7A, including facts, opinion, rules, and experience. Now, those things that those are things that an employer can do. Now, from an employee's perspective, one of the big things to do uh, is to recognize the Jizzle Doctrine. Now, the Jizzle Doctrine is huge when an employee, or an, excuse me, an employer would commit a ULP. In response, the NLRB can issue the Jizzle Doctrine, uh, which would be issuing bargaining power in response to the ULP. Now, what that would do is recognize the union as a bargaining, like, em employee representative, and therefore, the employer would have to bargain with them. Now, with all this being said, um, if you're an employer, please do not uh, commit any tips, but try to stick with four. And if you're an employee, um, you have the right to self-organization, you know, gotta understand that. But also, if an employer commits uh, a ULP, keep in mind the Jizzle Doctrine, as that can get you bargaining power. Thank you so much for listening, and I hope you enjoyed it.